Hello guys, this is Kenron Ubizi, and today I'm going to be showing you my new scripting system. Well, it supports multiple scripting languages, and so far I've only added um, JavaScript and my own custom scripting language, which I showed you in another video. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, the JavaScript implementation. And as you see, our our uh, JavaScript manager is extremely small. We just super construct a script manager with these two arguments: the uh, engine name and the file extension. So .js and the engine name is JavaScript. So we're gonna go to this global script manager. Um, found in this package which is right here okay and for this demonstration I'm gonna turn on my debugging so you guys can see that it picks up only files with the extension okay so we have our script engine which isn't set yet until it constructs our script engine manager which is set to a new script engine manager and our extension final extension okay so like I showed you before with this JavaScript manager here's our construction um, it takes a string called engine name and a string called extension and it sets our extension value to the specified argument and it sets our engine to um, using the managers get engine by name method um, with the argument of engine name found here. So JavaScript and JS. Okay. And when it invokes a certain function, we create an invo invocable. It's really just like an invocable statement, invocable line of a script. And we call it invocable engine. Or just in engine, and we're just casting from our engine to invocable because this engine extends or implements invocable. And from our uh, what's it called? Invocable engine, we invoke the function from the name, the name of the function, and the function arguments. And this right here, if you guys don't know. I just learned it today when making this. This takes unlimited amounts of arguments. So we can do like invoke and let's say, I don't know, the method name is like hi or something. We can have infinite arguments and it's all through one method. It's really, 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 really sweet. And I wish I knew about it before. And just like that, it'll work fine. It's really, really awesome. So, it's a great feature if you guys want to use it. And we invoke the function, catch our exceptions, and print them out if they fail. And our load scripts loads all the scripts. So, it has a new file, which is our expected directory, new file, from our configuration um, scripts directory. Which I showed you in our plugin. Uh, what am I talking about? In our server configuration file, we can set everything up right here. And I set the script directory to data slash scripts, which is the home for my scripts. Okay. And then we create a file list, like a file array called children. And it equals the directories and list the files inside that directory. And for every file we call it child inside the array of files called children if the file isn't a file meaning it's a directory or the file doesn't exist then we just continue on otherwise we print out the name and say that we found a we found a child so if the file well if the child is a file Wait, what am I doing here? <laughs> Sorry, stupid moment. If the child 
ends if the child child files name ends with dot and the extension which is like js xs whatever then we use our engine and we eval evaluate the uh, um, the file and then if it was a success we print a new we print because before we only we printed then we print and then we go to a new line done other or if it didn't end up with that extension then it prints out failed sorry if I'm bad at explaining this stuff uh, okay now in our loader we create a new JavaScript manager called JScript manager and we set it equal to a new JavaScript manager and from the JavaScript manager we execute the method load scripts like I showed you before and then in here we can run our script functions and what well, we want to run and invoke a function called hello world and that's inside our hello.js script well, I already had it open here's the function all it does is print ln so print a line and say hello world <clears throat> which is really just printing hello world and then going to a new line like, it's like a slash like slash backspace I don't even know what the escape key or whatever it's called for it is, but whatever. Now I'm going to show you it working. So we identified the child like this, and then this one we successfully, it was a successful JavaScript file, and this one, startup.xs, was a ZeraScript file. So we, we're not going to use that one. And we invoke the function hello world and it prints out hello world. Now I'm going to show you what kind of cool stuff we can do with this because there's a whole lot of cool stuff that you can actually do with JavaScript. And I'm going to show you creating a new function and we can grab the value from the arguments that were actually entered like this. So function read value value or object value print line red value fail okay now here's our new function that we can invoke read val and it requires one argument object val so we can go ahead and we'll remove this other world j script manager dot invoke and the method is called what what was the method called? I forgot. <laughs> Read val, and we're going to assign the the argument, which is val. And we're going to assign that to uh, happy go lucky. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now if we restart our server. Okay, red value, happy go lucky. And we can actually do act. Uh, we actually have access to all the functions um, that these objects are. So if we had something like I don't know, say I wanted to handle a um, object like this or something, handle object object ob player player. So say we had something like that. Or this shouldn't be called object. Game object. Oh, I'm African. I'm so used to Java. Just been learning JavaScript over the past few days. So it's pretty much the same syntax as Java, just a little bit different stuff. We can actually like use all the methods from players. So we can actually go like get action sender that send message, and that will actually work if the arguments specified were there. It's it's actually really really cool. Anyways, that's all pretty much I wanted to show you. 